Hey, welcome back. And you know what? We want to say thank you to everybody who has liked our channel over the last, uh, you know, year or so. We've really grown. Uh, we've grown up to 214. We're trying to get to the 500 mark. So, you know what? Just hit the like and subscribe if you like our content. But now we're going to get on with today's show. Today's review, that's what today is. Today's a review of the amp we have sitting on the floor here is a uh, Fender 65 Twin Reverb. Um, I'm looking at it here. It is a great looking amp. I, you know, you almost can't stop looking at it. It's got 212, I think it's a 212. Um, it's got uh, two channels. Um, it's got a normal channel and a vibrato channel. Um, and I might show you the vibrato and that stuff. It's got reverb built into it. It's stinking loud. It's an 85 watt amp. You know, it is stinking loud. So, why buy an amp? Well, we sold all of our amplifiers. We sold our Vox. We sold our other Fender. We had a Fender Blues Deluxe. You may have seen it on the channel. You may have seen the Vox on the channel. We sold both of those and bought this 65 um, Fender Reverb Twin. This Twin Reverb. Um, I have not had a problem with any of those amps. They're all great amplifiers. This was a, I wanted a platform that I could use pedals with and it'd be clean no matter what volume it's at. And this Fender does exactly that. It, it gets high, um, oh man, it gets so loud, but it doesn't break up. I don't know how they did it or what they did to it to do it, but it gets loud and it never breaks up. It doesn't, it might break up when you get the volume all the way to 10, you know, but I have it on three right now and that's pretty stinking loud. Um, we have a mic on it. It is, if you can see in our shot here, we've got a Sennheiser E609, uh, just kind of draped over it. And that might be the setting that we keep it at just all the time. I haven't really gotten that far yet. Um, it's got, we'll go over the controls here and I'll go over the shot here. Um, the normal channel has a volume, a treble, a middle, and a bass. That's, oh, and it's got a bright switch. Makes it, it makes it quite quite a bit brighter but not a ton that's not like oh man now it's screaming bright no it's just makes it a little bit bright um the two inputs on it and it's got the same inputs on each channel um one is uh for a higher gain and one is for lower gain exactly which one i don't remember i want to say two is the lower and one is the higher um it's like plus six db i think is one of them but uh it's a great amp um, I've had it sitting here warming up. I've played um, the Epiphone through it. This is the first day I've actually played the tele Tele through it. So we got an old Fender show going on here. We got the Tele. We got a Fender Twin. I would wear my Fender hat if it wasn't dirty. So, um, so yeah, that's um, what we got going there. Now um, I am going to show you um, our pedal rig here. Um, and I pull up my phone here. Um, I use my phone sometimes camera wise as a third camera, especially when I'm doing something real quick here like this. I might zoom in here. So as you can see here, we got on our pedal board, we've got our polytune that goes into our Centavo, that goes into our Foxy Tone Box, that then goes into our warm drive, and finally goes out the dig um, into our amp. So that is kind of a shot of what that looks like. And um, yeah. Anyways, cut this all together. We're going to start off today with just basically how does this amp sound? Oh, I didn't finish going through the controls. The controls on the vibrato side are very similar to the normal side, except for you have reverb, speed, and intensity. Um, you still have volume, treble, middle, bass, but you have reverb, speed, and intensity, and that all boils down to um, the I think speed and intensity only pertain to the vibrato, which you can turn on and off with the foot pedal. And reverb is just reverb, it's however much you want. I've got it off right now, so we can kind of just hear the amp on its own. Um, they, Fender makes great reverb tanks. I don't know what they do to those either, but um, they make good reverb tanks. Um, so that's the controls of the amp. There are some on the back, like your standby and powers on the back. Um, you, can, you can hook up an extension speaker, that's, jacks on the back, the speaker jacks on the back. Oh, there's a ground, if you're having a buzz through, you can hit this ground switch that's on the back of it too. And then it's got the molded um, 
IEC or best molded power, you know, for your 110. If you're in the U.S., I don't know what they do worldwide. I imagine they either sell adapters or put a different plug on. But um, this this is that uh, review of this. Um, not much control-wise. It's got the bright switch on each channel. Um, is made in the United States, according to the uh, thing on the back. Um, so I'm going to grab this control switch here this guy here so we can see how these things sound so we've got the foot switch now by us um, I just pulled it around um, got the mic got everything set up to play through it and we have it set up in our control room here because honestly I like to play guitar by myself quite a bit and you know having the amp in the live room just wasn't working for me so I brought it in here we may add the casters to the amp so we can roll it back and forth easier because it does weigh. It weighs like 60 pounds. So, um, anyways, uh, that's kind of the amp in a nutshell. It's got black Tolex. It does have amp legs, so you can lean it back. I might do so. Um, the one thing I like about this amp, no matter what volume you have this thing at, it pretty much sounds almost the same. Like, there's some nuances that happen at different volumes. But overall, like, I cranked it up, sounded great, turned it down back, I got about like two and a half right now, sounded awesome. Um, I did notice with the amp that if you have it turned to one, there's almost no output. It, it, once you get past one, then it like it engages and you get quite a bit of level. But, um, so, enough with that. Here's how the amp sounds um, with just a clean, clean amp, clean guitar. So, essentially, that is the clean sound of this amplifier. Um, I don't know, is it for everybody? I don't know. But, since it's clean at pretty much every volume, you can throw a whole bunch of pedals at it and it would be fine. Um, like I said, I, I, can throw, I can throw my Centavo. And you're hearing this all for the first time, so any of these pedals, I have no idea what they're going to sound like. But here is the Centavo from Warm Audio running through a Fender Twin reverb. So that's the Centavo through it. Um, the Centavo is not doing much for distortion, you know, no overdrive. It's just kind of fattening the sound up a little bit, which isn't super necessary with uh, the Fender Twin. Doesn't really sound much different. Now, say we add, we've got the Centavo on, and now we add the Foxy Tone Box. Who knows? Um, we'll turn the warm drive on though. Woo, that's nice and toasty. So this is the warm drive through that. Anyways, sounds great in my turns. I, I tweaked it a little bit here, um, which I highly recommend you tweaking your pedals as you're playing with amp settings. But, you know, that's kind of, if we turn, let's turn the Centavo on, because I'm not sure what that's going to sound like. So that's essentially the Centavo and the warm drive together. I don't know what the Foxy Tone Box, I'm going to have to rewire this because it's not, um, yeah, I have to switch two inputs on it, which I might just do right now. Uh, alrighty. Now we've got the Foxy Tone Box plugged in here, and I, who knows what this thing's gonna sound.
Anyways, it's got a little bit of a high pitch tone. It could be a power supply thing. I think it's a power supply thing. Anyways, it's got a lot of crap ton of gain to it. Anyways, that's the nastiness of that box. Not gonna use it a whole ton, but you know, we'll work on something. Anywho, back to our review after the Foxy Tone box not working. Anyways, that's video land. Things sometimes don't work. Um, so we've got the dig here and then we're clean. We turn the dig on. You've seen our review of our dig. That's not the point of this, but that's how this amp sounds with its pedals going through it. Now we've got this the vibrato in it that we have not heard, and the vibrato sounds pretty good. reverb. Anyways, that is essentially that board that pedal ran through with the reverb we've got the dig and the reverb on the fender twin um i absolutely am in love with this amplifier um i don't know anybody else who um has this amplifier thousands of people have used it over the years to record since the 60s it's kind of the 65 era was kind of the last Era to do the black face because they eventually went to the silver face and everybody wants the silver face. I love the look of the black face over the silver face. I've used silver face ones. They sound great. But this amp, honestly, you could take it on stage and crank it up. You could take it in the studio and turn it down a little bit, run your pedals through it, and you've got everything that you'd ever need. Um, but it sounds great through the, the telly sounds great through it. And I don't play the telly all that often. I play the uh, Epiphone a whole lot more. Um, but, um, I highly recommend they run, I paid, I paid $900 for this. It's used. Um, I think they run 1200 brand new. So anyways, still a great, if you can find one used, go for it. Um, I bought it from music go around. They go through their amps, make sure everything's up to snuff. It does have quite a bit of tubes in it. There's six L sixes. I believe there's four of them. Yeah. There's four, four at six L sixes. And then there's like uh there's nine tubes total in the amp nine of them uh five of them are ax7s and i think two of them are ats and i can't remember exactly if that's if it's the other way around or not but um that is essentially this amp in a nutshell um if you've liked this channel if you've liked this video not this channel if you like this video i had to take a thought there um if you liked liked it hit the like hit the subscribe um let us know what you think of this amp um, let me know if you've got one, if you've got one of them and you've got some tricks and stuff up your sleeve on how it does this and that, show us the link and we'll, uh, we'll see what it does. But for us, it's a great amplifier. Um, it's loud. We can throw pretty much anything through it. We threw all these pedals through it. it sounded great. Minus the Foxy Tone Box. And that's not the Foxy Tone Box fault. That is mine. I wired it backwards and I think I need to put it in a different power supply socket, um, on the pedal board. Anywho, um, like I said, if you like this, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit that bell notification. Also, anything you can think of um, that you could want to send our way, send our way. If you've got friends who thought think this might be helpful for them or they might find it entertaining, share the video. We're all for it. Um, 
helps monetize the channel as people hit like and subscribe and all that fun stuff and then it supports the channel um actually just hitting the like and subscribe that supports us in myriads of ways because we know we're doing something right so like we've said in other videos thanks for watching we'll see you next time and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe